Hello everyone. I have a shirt sitting here. I wanted to show you what can happen with just by cutting off the sleeve. So I started or I saw this post on paper inspirations and of these fabric flowers and I was fiddling around with it myself. They don't have to be perfect but if you want that like perfect looking circular shape and without them fraying or anything else like that it was suggested to use a candle light it and all that jazz i personally no <laughs> i don't mess with fire in the house I have kids can't really get past that aspect there on myself but I have these little like glue or you know jewel things here sitting here and that and I cut some of these out but I wanted to show you how I made the circles so I took one of my time cards because they have that um, envelope folio thickness but any kind of like cardstock that you have from spare mail like this for example spare mail but i used quite a bit of my spare mail in my jelly print journal but this has that same thickness i did a bunch of different circles in it to see what it turned out to be like i have this smaller one to do yet i think yeah so all i'm taking is a drawing pencil because I don't have to put much pressure on it one you can use any kind of pencil or a pen or a permanent marker whatever you have and just draw three circles is what I'm doing and then cut them out so I'm just gonna cut it out the spot that I'm using now I'm gonna cut all three of these out trying to make sure I stay in frame a little bit here for you So one, and I draw my circles on the back of it, so, and I chose pencil because no one's going to notice pencil. If you use permanent marker, there is a chance of it leaking through, and I didn't want that chance, so that's why I didn't use permanent marker. But I thought this was a beautiful idea to use like your fabric scraps and sometimes like with not knowing what to do with some of my fabric doesn't always happen but sometimes this definitely helps. I personally am just going to use Fabri-Tac and just add a little tiny bit of Fabri-Tac to it. And I try to make sure they're opposite. So if, because this is striped, if one's going one way, I purposely put it the other way. And just keep on doing that as I'm adding them. Put them a different direction every single time. Now you could stick a brad through this. I personally, I have these jewel type stuff sitting around. I want to use my jewel stuff first before I do that. I think it keeps it flatter and just a cute little piece. So I'll show you again. I'm just adding them to each other. I make sure that it's on the correct side. 
and I just put a line of glue on it. Nothing too fancy. Make sure they're not in the same direction. Again, I just keep on trying to make sure they're not in the same direction as I'm doing this because, again, it makes it a lot more difficult. Now I have to figure out what this is bottom. To make it more textile looking, I guess. I don't know. I, I personally, this that's the only thing is... is I like it, the look of it. And I have a sticker stuck to my finger. So if you have any jewels or anything else like that, perfect way of using it. If you have brads, you can stick brad through it. No one's telling you not to. I just want to show you what I do. So. <clears throat> oh, sorry if this is shaking. I'm not always in control of that as well as I want to be. There's supposed to be glue dots, but I find they kind of bother me more than anything. But it's, again, a simple project. We just made three easily. Um, what one? Oh, this one. So I took my scrap pieces that I had already cut my circles out of and freehanded circles. Now, that's a little bit more difficult than it looks to freehand circles, so they don't always turn out right because you're freehanding it. You're not like using anything to necessarily make it a certain size. So, just letting you know, if you decide you're going to freehand, it may not be as perfect as if you would have used, like, a stencil-type looking piece. But this is how I don't waste the fabric when I'm doing something like this. I just freehand a little bit. You know what? I'm just going to stick a little glue right there. Just because this is a really tiny jewel. But that's okay. It needs to be used. And again, these are pretty flat. I mean, other than your jewel. And you could even use buttons. I never even thought about that. But it's pretty flat. So if you're using it in a journal, it isn't going to cause too much bulk in it. Which I really like. So... Again, I thought this was a great idea, and my goal is just to use that sleeve. So it's probably going to be quite a bit of them um, when I'm done, just because all I'm doing, again, is just using a sleeve up. But 
again it, they're really beautiful and cute and if you also don't want to do what the other person did with burning the corners to make sure they don't fray but you still want them to not fray on you another way of doing that is using a little bit of fray check I know it's at Walmart I want to say or not one yeah Walmart something as simple as Walmart I haven't even opened this one I have another one hanging out that's open but you can easily use that to stop fraying of the fabric I personally I don't think this, that's going to be my issue with this type of fabric I don't think it's going to fray all that much but in case that is your situation I don't know I can actually look at the shirt and tell you I guess what kind of fabric it is 55% cotton 27% nylon 15% polyester and 3% spandex but this is again it's just uh, one of them stretchy shirts that are really cute but I want to come up with another use for it so this is what I've come up with so far other than journal covers so the other you know if you have a shirt around the house that you just don't wear this is a great fix for that otherwise what I do with big shirts like this is I'll cut off the back here and I'll take a envelope that's huge like this and stick it down, cut around it, add like a plain piece, um, piece of paper. I'll glue on here if it has words like this on it. Otherwise, I normally will add like a plain piece of fabric or something else for the other side of it and voila I have a cover so again I just I want to explain to you the different things you could do with it you could even take the buttons off of the one that you know if you're using a shirt like I am you can easily take off the button and use that as the middle piece for your uh, little flowers so I mean a lot of uses out of one shirt I hope you enjoyed this cute little short video tutorial of making cute little fabric flowers circular circular flowers and in order to get your circle stencil honestly I took things like this and drew around it I also had one of these circles that I never really used. That's what this one is. It's from there. This one is this. I want, wait, no, that is actually my Fiskars cutout. I tried using this one and for some reason it didn't work. So I decided because this cap is a little bit bigger but not much. I just put it in that one um this tiny one is actually a glue stick cap I drew around so I mean yeah I and then I tried my smaller ones punch outs and I didn't really like how small they turned out so I needed them a little bit bigger so I tried looking around my desk to find circular stuff that fit what I needed in order to make these circles. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day or night. Bye!